Hey, you guys, this is Rena with 1111 Revelation, and I just have to share this with you, okay? This is so crazy. That's why I had to do a video on X Recorder because it's wild. Earlier, the Holy Spirit had mentioned to me he wanted me to listen to the book of Ezekiel. And so this was like several hours ago. Anyways, it just popped into my head again. So I was like, okay, I'm going to be obedient. And what happened was just listen to what it ended up on. I might have to back it up just a bit, but it's wild. It's about the watchmen and what the watchman is called to do. Wow, because I did not have it. It was already played up until that point. That's right where it was marked at. It should have been at the beginning. I don't know why, but this is where it started playing. So here we go. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul again. When a righteous man doth turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. Because thou hast not given him warning, he shall die in his sin, and his righteousness which he hath done shall not be remembered, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the righteous man, that the righteous sin not, and he doth not sin, he shall surely live, because he is warned. Also thou hast delivered thy soul, and the hand of the Lord was there upon me, and he said unto me, Arise, go forth into the plain, and I will there talk with thee. Then I rose, and went forth into the plain, and behold, the glory of the Lord stood there, as the glory which I saw by the river of Chabar, and I fell on my face. Then the Spirit entered into me, and set me upon my feet, and spake with me, and said unto me, Go. Shut thyself within thine house, but thou, O son of man, behold, they shall put bands upon thee, and shall bind thee with them, and thou shalt not go out among them. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and shalt not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. But when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, He that heareth, let him hear, and he that forbeareth, let him forbear, for they are a rebellious house. Ezekiel 4 Thou also, son of man, take thee a tile, and lay it before thee, and portray upon it the city, even Jerusalem, and lay siege against it, and build a fort against it, and cast a mount against it. Set the camp also against it, and set battering rams against it round about. Moreover, take thou unto thee an iron pan, and set it for a wall of iron between thee and the city, and set thy face against it, and it shall be besieged, and thou shalt lay siege against it. This shall be a sign to the house of Israel. Lie thou also upon thy left side, and lay the iniquity of the house of Israel upon it, according to the number of the days that thou shalt lie upon it, thou shalt bear their iniquity. For I have laid upon thee the years of their iniquity, according to the number of the days, three hundred and ninety days, so shalt thou bear the iniquity of the house of Israel. And when thou hast accomplished them, lie again on thy right side, and thou shalt bear the iniquity of the house of Judah forty days. I have appointed thee each day for a year. Therefore, thou shalt set thy face toward the siege of Jerusalem, and thine arm shall be uncovered, and thou shalt prophesy against it. And behold, I will lay bands upon thee, and thou shalt not turn thee from one side to another, till thou hast ended the days of thy siege. 
Take thou also unto thee wheat, and barley, and beans, and lentils, and millet, and fitches, and put them in one vessel, and make thee bread thereof, according to the number of the days that thou shalt lie upon thy side, three hundred and ninety days shalt thou eat thereof. And thy meat which thou shalt eat shall be by weight, twenty shekels a day. From time to time shalt thou eat it. Thou shalt drink also water by measure. The sixth part of an hin, from time to time, shalt thou drink. And thou shalt eat it as barley cakes. And thou shalt bake it with dung that cometh out of man in their sight. And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whither I will drive them. Then said I, Our Lord God, behold, my soul hath not been polluted, for from my youth up even till now have I not eaten of that which dieth of itself, or is torn in pieces, neither came there abominable flesh into my mouth. Then he said unto me, Lo, I have given thee cow's dung for man's dung, and thou shalt prepare thy bread therewith. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by weight and with care, and they shall drink water by measure and with astonishment, that they may want bread and water, and be astonished one with another, and consume away for their iniquity. Ezekiel 5. Okay, guys, I just wanted to share that with you because that's a lot of interesting stuff and information in that uh, those couple of chapters. And so it just goes to show that he could fast and he was much better off doing that. There's a reason for fasting. Y'all, and we are able to do that. We're able to do that. We just have to put our set our minds on it and we can do that. So if you choose to do so, I'm not trying to tell anybody to fast or anything, but also it talks about eating meat and like what you're putting in your body. And especially now with the way things are with all these manufacturing, the food plants that have been like burnt down and exactly where are they getting the meat from now? I mean, there's some left, yes, but they're still trying to do some really crazy things out there. I'm not going to say anything else, but you guys just just keep it in mind take it to heart take it to the lord and lord in prayer sorry and um that's that i just thought it was wild that i clicked on it because he told me to twice today and it was all about the watchman um being called to be a watchman and so i just thought i would make a quick video because i love max and he's really really good and hopefully i won't get a copyright but i hope you guys enjoyed the little bible study and got something from it. I love you guys. And if you need prayers, just leave them down in the comments. All blessings and honor and glory and power unto our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And have a great rest of your Sabbath. Amen. Shalom.